Hello everybody and welcome to my very first first look video on FS22, apart from, of course, the initial base game maps. So this is the fantastic Carmsden Farm by Oxygen David. I have actually already done a first look video on Carmsden Farm, but it was on FS19. It wasn't actually released for 19, it was just the preview version for the entire map uh, for when it was going to come out uh, in 22. So I was absolutely blown away by it in 19, and it had an overwhelmingly positive response from all of my viewers and everybody else in the farming simulator community so it was just amazing and uh, yes now we can actually see the map in FS22 itself. So once again a massive thank you to Auction David for putting so much time, effort and skills into these fantastic maps which really do transform the game into something fairly unrecognizable. It is unbelievable and you're going to see for yourself how amazing this map really is. So I'm going to start the tour here, we're going to keep the time at times 5 in August so we can experience all the summer colours and different lighting and uh, yes we do actually have a dog somewhere around here, I did notice a dog, it might be in the back garden, ah well I'm sure, oh there he is, <laughs> he or she, I'm not too sure exactly, um, yes we can pet him, hello, uh, so yes anyway I'm going to just go through this as slowly as possible but at the same time try and cover absolutely everything. And this is what I love about Auction Davis maps and other mappers as well. Just little bits of detail which just make you believe that this map is alive. There are people around, we actually do see people, but yeah, you can clearly see somebody's been sitting here in the summertime. And uh, yeah, so many different lovely sounds as well. And collectibles, as you can see here. So yes, there are people as mentioned. So this brings the map to life, it's not just a dead place. I'm going to try my best to cover everything. Again, I might miss something. I have already told this in FS19, as I said at the beginning. Um, but yes, we have to see as much as possible in 22. And of course, because I'm putting this video out, it does not mean that the map is out now. The map will be coming in the future. Uh, it needs to be tested. And of course, then giants have to uh, test it as well before it can be released on Mod Hub. So I think it would be quite nice to keep going into the map as well so I can see all of the uh, markers. So you can see here we have remove junk in barns. We're going to have a look at that. The chicken pasture, the horse barn, the uh, pig pasture, and the sheep pasture. So this is really the livestock area. Functioning gates, you can see the mud, so we've got wet areas. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, we do have uh, the junk in the barns. Moving on from this, we have the chicken pasture, which is just here. Uh, so I will actually buy some hens so that we can experience this properly. So let me just select this, and then we'll put that to 30. Buy, and we should see the chickens appear in the pasture. There we go. In this enclosure. And then we have all the spawn points and everything, so the area to collect the eggs and to feed them with the grain. Moving on again, we have, I think this was actually the horse area. So this is a horse stable. So I should probably, once again, buy some horses. Uh, we'll just go for, we'll go for two of those. Go for probably two of those as well. Just so that we can see them in the field. There we go. So we've got the horses. Uh, really don't want to feel like I'm rushing this, but yeah, we do need to cram quite a bit into this one video. So uh, it's important that I don't spend too long in each area. So this is a nice little allotment. Lovely. And a tennis court. Lots of detail as well. Big fan of the lawnmowers. And uh, yes, more collect I don't want to give away all the collectible sites, but uh, yes, they're very nice that we can see them dotted around everywhere. Another one over there. Quite a few actually, but there are plenty to go at. So I think it's highly unlikely I'm going to find all of them in this one video. Very nice. Okay, so next what we're going to do is go over to the pigs. Close that gate. If I just go on to the menu. Yeah, I really don't want to overlook anything. 
yeah, pigs next, and then we'll go to the sheep. And I think after that we're going to be driving. We'll have to drive to our next destinations. But yeah, the uh, some of the views on this map and uh, the country lanes, they are just absolutely beautiful. It is so realistic. So once again, yep, let's just buy some pigs. I think the dialogue is over here. Just select as many as possible. There we go, so we've got 30. And you can see we've got the pig styes and the pigs have got plenty of space to roam out here. In fact, yes, they really do have a massive amount of space to roam around. This whole area is for 30. Nobody in here. Uh, next up, we have the sheep. So the sheep are over here in field number 31. Here are the feed troughs, water trough, and the purchasing dialogue, I think, is over here. Here we go. So I'll select as many as possible once again. Fantastic, we've got 50. And you can see we have all of the sheep roaming in the sheep pasture. Hello. Ah, oh, it says hello. Okay then, so let's leave the sheep pasture. We've got some deer on the road, so we've got plenty of wildlife and there are the birds as well. Uh, I think I'm now going to stroll up in this direction, but first of all, let's just take a look at this signpost. So this is Chedworth up here. Uh, and this is very true to life. The layout and everything actually. The attention to detail is fantastic. So we have one of our farmyards just here. And in this farmyard, we have some machines. Yara and Chafer logo up there. And here we go. So we have got a fence tractor, a John Deere tractor. We have got a sprayer and also a 1080 class Convio header. So we must have, I, I believe that would be for the class Tryon, the class Tryon combine harvester. We must have that somewhere. And actually there is a roller in there as well, so there's probably more lurking in the back. Yeah, there's a weight in there. Okay. So just take a look at that view over the fields. It looks so good. And the yard. You can see it's not just like, unnatural. We've got some weeds growing through. You can tell it's a, a well-used track, but you know what these weeds are like. It just looks very natural. And we've even got a few little trees growing here. Are they sycamore? Looks like they might be. Or some kind of maple. Right, so we can actually open this barn door here. Aha, there we go. So our class combine, it is indeed the class Tryon, the 720. To go with the header which we have around the back. A baler, seed drill, and a cultivator. And of course you can turn the lights on in here. Turn off lights when not in use. So you press R to switch those on. There we go. So moving on, we have our grain silo. So we can fill up the trailers from here. As for emptying, that's done from the other side. Just taking a step back, you can see we have loads more storage space for machinery, and there is actually a door over there. It's quite easy to miss, uh, but that'll take us over to the road. So we can sort of cut through here if we want to. And just to the left of us there is actually where we tip. We have to go into the shed. But we'll come on to that in just a second. First of all, we have the diesel tank. And some more amazing views. And of course, we mustn't forget that we have this lovely crop just here as well, ready to harvest with the class Tryon. Um, so I just want to show you what it looks like, what the map looks like with depth of field switched on, because I always turn it off, uh, but I think it would be a good idea to show it in the default setting. So if I switch that on to true, you can see you have the depth of field, it's a bit more blurred in the background. I personally prefer to switch that off, but of course, personal preference, and you might not even be able to tell the difference anyway. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep it off for this video. That'll keep a nice sharp horizon. Okay, right, so next up, 
Let's go back out here. Close the door behind us, and then we have the roller doors just here on this shed. And we can tip. Actually, this door does open as well. There we go, but you can open these to reverse in with the tractors and trailers to tip the grain into the pit just here. So uh, you can also store machinery here, or you could even just tip loose. You could just uh, dump a trailer of grain here, scoop it up with a bucket or a conveyor belt. And that works with the, uh, the pipe on the other side where you can fill up your trailer again. Okay, right, so... Uh, again, we do actually have another door here to cut through into here. Our vehicle workshop. Lots of attention to detail once again. A giant's mug with coffee in it. Very nice. Two giant's mugs. And yeah, all the uh, lubricants, oils, consumables, lots and lots of stuff in here. It just looks absolutely fantastic. Just a really nice farm workshop. And yeah, I suppose this area here is to uh, park the machines that are in for repair or service. Or well, you could just park anything there, I guess. A pickup truck. Some lovely trees just on the outside here. And a country lane. We will actually drive up there later. Uh, but we need to first of all walk down uh, more past where we started. Grit box for in the winter time. Yep, and we've got the signs here as well. So I, I believe it's F uh, Foss Bridge, North Leach. I might be pronouncing those incorrectly, but uh, yes, a really lovely signpost just there. Very British. This is in Gloucestershire, by the way. I should have mentioned that before. Set in Gloucestershire. And yeah, even the signs here as well, to show you the water mains. I always forget what these mean. I think the top number is something like the size of the pipe, and the bottom number is the distance to where the hydrant is, I think. Uh, I'm always getting those two mixed up though. Anyway, probably getting a bit too involved there. What a lovely tree. Okay, I keep feeling like I should be running everywhere, but I just feel like I'm missing stuff. So we have a tractor down there in that yard as well. We'll come on to that very soon. I really should be driving everywhere, but I just think I can appreciate things more on foot. Right, we'll run down here. Um, whilst I'm doing this, I'll just open up the map. So you can see all these different fields that we have down this road. And it does lead to... I forget where that actually leads to. I'm going to have to check on the map. It's been a while since I did first look the FS19 version. Well, the FS19 preview. Let's take a look here. It is the... Oh, it is actually the dealership. The vehicle dealership. I think I'll get a machine to drive down here. We'll take this fence tractor... So the same as when I started my uh, Let's Play on the base game map, the European map, uh, I did get a few stutters, so I'm sure the same thing will happen with this map. I don't know if it's just my computer or what, but yeah, that's what happened, and it cleared after just a few minutes of uh, driving around. But this map does seem to run very, very smoothly. Okay, put my foot down and we'll head over to the dealership. There are some very nice forests as well. It's very idyllic. All the bird sounds, which we'll come on to a bit later on. Now, I do tend to do these uh, tours in third person view, just because you can see more. But when we're under the tree canopy, it might be better to do first person. It is so immersive. 
Okay, so we are approaching our destination. Just indicate into here. And I also like how the uh, map boundaries have been very discreetly done. Road closed. Right, so this is Cotswold Farm Machinery. We can buy all of our machinery from here. Same as on a base game map, you just literally walk up to the icon for anybody new to farming simulator, and you can buy anything, as long as you have the money, of course. So yeah, for example, if I was buying this tractor, just buy it, and it will spawn somewhere around us. There we go. It's our electric tractor. Oh, and uh, British number plates. Very nice. So many things that could be overlooked. Right, okay, so um, we do have another business in the back here. We'll just drive around. I suppose what I should do is put a number plate on this tractor. It's the one we're using. Customize and then into here. There we go. Uh, so we can change that to whatever. Kind of at risk of selecting a real number plate. <laughs> Don't suppose it matters though. I could go for a future number plate, actually, there we go. Um, and yeah, that's that's relevant, so I think I'll just have it on the back. We do tend to only have them on the back in the UK, although I don't think it's impossible to have it on the front as well. Okay, yep, we want to have that. And there we go. Very, very nice. Uh, that would be 2032, I believe. An 82 reg. Got some people around here. So I think this is a sell point for grain. I will have to just check. It certainly looks like it is. Got a pile of grain out there. Uh, farm store bay 2. Farm store bale sell point and farm store bay one. Okay, so yeah, it is indeed a place where we can sell. I wonder if Fent will still look like this in uh, 2032. If this model will still be in production. Uh, anyway, I'm deviating again, I always am. Let us just head out of here now. Very nice though. I, actually, where does this lead to? We must explore. Ah, it's the tip, isn't it? It's a, it's a council tip. Bring all your household waste to here. Oh, yes. Cardboard, green waste, wood, non-recyclable, and also metal items. And I yes, I think all of the bins are all appropriately done. So this is green waste, yeah, so we've got a tree in there. Some naughty people have been throwing incorrect items into there. Very naughty. Uh, cardboard. Yep, certainly got cardboard. What do we have here? Non-recyclable. Yep, some uh, potentially toxic stuff in there. And metal. Yep, we've got some metal. So, attention to detail. This is what I love to see. It's always good. Right then. Right, so, we're getting quite a long way into this video, and we haven't seen that much really, so far. I seem to remember cutting across somewhere. I can see a nice shed back there. We probably have to own phone number 9 to really go over here, so we'll just quickly run across. Yep, so just a nice stone barn. Not too sure if we can go in there. It looks a bit overgrown. Yeah, I think it's a bit overgrown. Disused. Yeah, you can certainly do some exploring on this map. Yeah, you could probably still put a tractor or something in here. Anyway, we shall continue. And I almost missed that. Please wear a face mask. Certainly up to date. 
Okay then, so yeah, obviously we've seen all of the fields briefly uh, in this surrounding area. I do need to now head back to the village because we have lots of things still to see. Yeah, there's loads to see. And there's a track over there which I need to take as well at some point. I don't want to miss taking that turning. We do actually have to go right again. Because we still haven't been to the buildings at the end of this road. This is the farmyard we saw earlier. I believe it is another cell point. But I would hate to miss it. Oh yes, and for anybody wondering what fields we start off with, I guess it's not set in stone at the moment, since the map isn't out and it's still being tested, but at the moment in this particular version, we do have quite a lot of fields as you can see there, including that yard and this yard here. And because yeah, we start in August, harvest sort of time, plenty of crops to go at as well. Okay then, so turning right, because I think it's another dead end, another road closed, uh, we have this business premises. It is, let's take a look here, it's a store, general store, daylight hours only. So if we just open the gate, there we go, uh, we can get into here, bell cell point if I'm not mistaken, oh, very nice. Yeah, well, there are several different markers. As it's called the general store, I expect they buy lots of different stuff. Bales, wood grain, and yeah, anything pretty much, I would say. Pretty much all this stuff, yep. Uh, this is a sawmill just here. Got a lorry, two lorries. Just a really good place to go and sell all of your produce. Uh, to let for sale, development land, 11.3 acres, listed estates, and uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty expensive, isn't it? Development land. Yep, £648,000. Okay, moving on. We need to go back down south. Uh, I think we've probably only covered about 30-40% to 40 of the map so far, if that. So we're going to see a very beautiful part of the village, just past the house where we started. So this is where we started, just down here on the right hand side. We've got other houses here. Our house is just there. Lots of very nice houses around here. Turning left, we should have another yard. Nice weeping willow there as well. Yep, so here we have another yard, which we do start off with. Just pull over. There we go, so we have another grain silo with a pit just here. Lots of storage sheds. Nice stone barns. Milk. Homogenizer. And yeah, we have a JCB telehandler and a John Deere tractor here. And those bales, that, that model of bales just looks so realistic. I love it. Super realistic. And a very nice telehandler too. We have got a mower in here. Is that a diesel container? Potentially. And lots of surrounding fields full of crops. Nice grass fields. Okay, so we do have a feed trough. Uh, this is for cows, I believe. 
Yep. Cow shed. So that must be for manure. So where the cows live, they can go out into the field. There we go. Feed troughs over there. Except for silage. I believe that might be a silage pit. And then back into our tractor. With lots of small grass fields surrounding us. And of course a lovely river running through the centre. I must take a look at this. It's just so lovely. Looks so realistic. Crisp water. Oh, fish! There's actually fish in here swimming around. Oh, that is fantastic. And it's not like it's overdone either. Just get the old fish. So it's actually something special when you do see one. I've got, got another fish here. Oh, that is so good. It just gets better and better. This map is alive. It just It's just absolutely perfect. If I was to continue on this road, going that way, we'd actually come back to the road where we've been before. So we won't go that way. We will turn left down here. And I seem to remember there was a post box somewhere integrated into the wall. There it is. And probably the village notice board as well. Absolutely. Very nice. Oh, the houses look so nice around here. They really do. Ooh. Place of interest. Okay, so we're getting much closer to the forest, the woodlands, which are just so natural. Got more signposts just there. Siren Sester. So I'm not too sure exactly which way I should really do this. I don't really know where to go, I'm just overwhelmed by the amazingness. Suppose if I go up here, the uh, thing is, if I do go up here, I have to go down this track on the left hand side at some point, and that's going to take us back to where we've already been. Um, but I think, yes, I, I, I do need to do that. Let's first of all, though, just pull into here because this is such a beautiful forest. I'll turn the tractor's engine off when we get into the middle. take in the uh, sights and sounds. Hopefully my sound is high enough for you to be able to hear it properly. Uh, there we go. That should be deep enough. Amazing. Yeah, I really hope all the birds are showing up on uh, in the video. It really would be amazing as my survival roleplay map because it is just so realistic. It's the perfect setting. So many different places within a relatively compact area. And so many cinematic opportunities. Wow. Uh, so, yes, I'm going to have to go back up that road. Before we do... We've got these fairly big fields. It really does open out up here. Lots and lots of fields. And it's just... You, you could never confuse this map at all. It just looks so British. You could almost just see it for the first time and say, Oh, that's Gloucestershire. <laughs> that is how realistic it is. So yeah, many paths which have and I've not taken, uh, they're there to explore in the future. A 
UK. So this is the livestock auction. Where we can buy our animals. Farmer's market. And also we have here Old Sphere's store. I would just open this up on here. We are all the way down here. Store, manure cell point, bale cell point, and the animal dealer. So there's no shortage of cell points. There should always be somewhere offering a good price for a certain product. Okay, uh, so continuing down that way, I think we are pretty much done. Yes, I, I believe we are. So we're going to go back up and we're going to have to take this uh, next track on the right hand side. Yes, this one we are going to have to take because it does take us to an important location. It goes around these different fields. But it looks like it probably is another selection of uh, cell points just up here. And if you look at all the different field numbers, like field number 28, 27, 26, very, very small. But then there's other fields, like 17, 29, really big. So it should suit everybody. If you like big fields, it's got big fields. If you like really small fields, we've got those as well. So. It is fantastic. There doesn't seem to be a crop in that field. It looks like it's been empty for a number of years. I think it did say development site. So it's probably been abandoned until it sells. Okay then, yes, yeah, so looking a little bit more industrial up here. In. Ah, the BGA, Cotswold Stores. Looks like we do have a number of different locations here. Debris Crusher Limited. Yep, so deliver your rocks to here, get them crushed. I will just take a look on the minimap. So, Biogas Plant which we'll come to in a second, Debra Crusher, Cotswold Stores, Farmer's Market, Cotswold Stores, and finally the Bale Cell Point. There we go, so we've got lots of places in one. Just checking to see if you can open any of these doors. I don't expect to open them really, because it's not a place that, where we're actually going to be, except for selling stuff. Let's just see if we can jump over this. I will be popular with security. Yep, so bring your silage to there. Put it into the processor. Brilliant. Okay then, right, let's just tab back to the Fent Tractor. Or I could just miss it. Uh, we need to, well, we need to get back to where we were. But we do still have another farm track before we do that. So I'll just have to get back off screen, I think, off camera. Once I go around this corner, I need to take the next turning right. Looks like it's going to take us past some uh, some nice woodland. I don't know why I'm indicating it doesn't look to be a, a main road. Or a nice stream. Yep, we've got a very shallow stream just there. Yeah, so this gives another different feeling. The different areas of the map, just like this area, makes me feel like it's a really open map. But then other areas, it's like a really condensed map, and it's very tight, small fields. This was my point about it being very different, despite it being a fairly compact map. Which is part of the reason why it's so good, in my opinion. Right, so yeah, we're turning right. I think, do we... I vaguely remember I crossed a river, like a ford. I actually don't know when I did the FS19 video. 
but it was some months ago now. Yeah, this was it. We do indeed drive through the river. It's not too deep. There we go. But again, very natural looking. Oh, and a collectible there as well. Of course, if you don't want it there, just get rid of it. Collect it and get a thousand pounds. Any fish in here? Probably a bit too shallow. Can't say for sure though. Maybe further downstream. And continuing on, we need to, uh, well, we need to probably go back again, but first let's just take a look at fill number 10, and when we get to fill number 6, we can turn around. So there's fill number 10. Yep, it does. It runs very smoothly. And yeah, this is my turning around spot. Some nice woodlands here, though. Extremely realistic. And here we are back on the road near to the small fields. We're going to be turning left at the bottom of here. Lots of very small grass fields. Going a bit too fast. Uh, road liable to flooding. So, of course, we are in August. I don't know if it's going to flood in the winter time. It might do. And Auction David did have uh, flooded roads on his maps on FS19. Opening out a bit, got some bigger fields. And I notice it's in Phenomen 90, we actually do have a tree on its own. Because that is, I believe that is uh, satellite imagery. So, yeah, we have got a little clump of trees over there as well. We hit another road close sign, um, but this brings us to the top left-hand corner of the map. Another stream here on the right-hand side. Looks like it went into a culvert, and then uh, maybe reappearing somewhere. Anyway, yes. This is, if I was to have a guess, <laughs> this is risky, uh, maybe a place to sell eggs or something, I'm not 100% sure. It looks a bit like a garden centre. Ah, it is! Garden centre. So maybe not a place to sell eggs. Ice cream! And they're all in there. I'll have a mint cone. Hmm. Ah, this chap might be able to get me one. Hmm. Yeah, I've got my mint cone. Uh, right. Mint and chocolate. Chocolate chip. Uh, yeah, so we have got lots and lots of nice details around here. Might even take a seat. Oh, he's coming. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can drive all the way through by the look of it. Garden center. Yeah, very nice. Some garden ornaments as well. Oh, mustn't forget that. A little collectible. And a sell point. 
Okay, then, so I'm going to have to check and see where we have and haven't been. We've been to all these places here. Uh, we've been around here. We've been there. Went there. So it looks like we are nearing an end. I should be able to end this tour when we've gone around here and we've pulled up in front of those sheds at the yard where we started. But I am so impressed. It's absolutely fantastic. But I won't be able to start survival roleplay because there's not enough other mods out yet. And this map isn't out yet, obviously. But yes, it is just absolutely perfect. I can't put a date on survival roleplay. But it'll be in a few months' time, I would say. There's no point rushing it, uh, because otherwise it's just going to be... It would be bad. Because otherwise, <laughs> if, if there's not enough machinery, there, or not enough mods, then I won't be able to do different storylines. And it's going to be set in the 1990s. And I know the game does have 1990s machines, but it doesn't have many. So it's best to wait for more mods to come out. Vintage tractors, that sort of thing. And just some 90s tractors, modern classics. Another very nice woodland here. Okay, so we just need to get back onto that track. Past fur number 24. And I can conclude this amazing map tour. Just look at that view. Does connect up with the other track somewhere down here. We're going to be going past the grass fields where the sheep and pigs are. So many trees. And yet it still runs very smoothly. Okay, yeah, so I think there is probably a gate at the end of here which we're going to have to open up. But then we'll be back onto the road and we'll be able to pull over where we started. There we go. Well, that has been quite an adventure. I really hope I haven't uh, missed anything. But a huge thank you once again to Auction David for all of the, uh, well I'm sure, hundreds of hours of work which have been put into this, if not thousands, and uh, well the skill. Absolutely, I, I can't even begin to imagine <laughs> how you do this. It is amazing. Um, so yeah, from me and I'm sure many others, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.